And good morning. We are back. <laughs> And good afternoon. Yes, afternoon, not morning. We were a bit busy this morning. We were doing a little wall patch up. It was just half a wall demolished. So we say, had to fix it up. But this afternoon, we're back at our lovely extension and lintel job. We're just doing some, one last thing I think, which is some steps for them. And I'll just show you here. They've just done some, uh, threw some up for now until we came. Just sat on some uh, block pavers, which, Honestly, look pretty good. So we're gonna do it in brick, just to get rid of that little gap. Let me take it down a bit more. You see there's still a bit of a gap there, so we're gonna do it in brick, just so it steps up a bit more. There's less of a uh, trip hazard, because you can see here there's a two brick gap here to step into, so we're gonna do that on both sides, and we're gonna do a little bit of Stephen magic. I'm gonna do a bit of Stephen Alex magic and make it work so the eco drains don't get interfered with. Dad's getting the rest of the mix in. We had some left over from the first job, but Dad's added a bit more. Is there any cement in that yet? Pardon? Is there any cement in that yet? Not yet, no. Oh, thank goodness. But uh, yeah, so that's the plan for this afternoon. Just get some steps. There's gonna be four, I forgot to mention that. So there's three there, so as you can see. We're going to centralise the those two to the door opening, and then have the others either side, same on the other side. Bish bash bosh. So I'll get you set up. Mix is almost ready. So I've uh, gathered all the flags and I've gathered the bricks. So I'll get you set up while we do this. Catch you in a bit. So as you'll have seen on the time lapse, we've just done a bit of the setting out. So what we've got to set out here. Be careful now. Oh yeah. All we've got set up here is the brickwork for including the 30mm overhang. So we'll have 30mm for the flags to have a bit of an overhang on them. And obviously, we've just done a bit of dry bonding and uh, it all works nice and brick. Brick to a half, full to a half. So, mix is almost ready. Let's get this cracking.
There we have it, that's one set of steps set up. On to the next. So, next one's all set out, and Dad's just gonna give you a little walkthrough of how we're gonna tackle this one. So obviously we've got an echo drain. Akko, Akko, whatever. Akko. I know it's Akko because I watched a video on YouTube from Akko, and that's how they pronounce it. The people who make it. Akko, not Akko. So Sounds forgive a bit weird, my. But it's Akko. Forgive my previous. Uh, it's looking a bit worse for wear this from the last couple of videos you've seen it. But this is a beautiful tool. Um, wood and metal, but it'll do. The uh, these um, Akko tops are quite. They've got the clip in. So I don't really want to be popping them out. So we've got it marked out. So we're just going to cut through. Well, we're going to see if it works. Let's get me old man cushion. Do, do you want to tell them why you're doing it? Yeah. Um, this is where our brickwork goes. So we're going to put a piece of damp course over there and run straight over the top of it. Put a cut in it here. And then we can get this piece up. Same on the other side. Because once the steps go over anyway, you can't get these up whatever we do with it. We were going to leave the brickwork back and leave like a gap, but it would look crap. So um, I'm going to cut it there and then it's, it's still accessible. Not that you're ever going to block it. It's an echo drain with a bit of water coming off the roof. So. There you go. Now they can just, obviously with the right tools, yeah, jobs are good in. Pop it out. Let's go down the other end. So we'll do that on the other side. So now they can still get access into uh, the echoes from here. Echoes. <laughs> the echoes from here. And there you have it, that's two steps. So, I've got this one done just now. Obviously, obviously, my God. Oh, good morning. Wait, no, it's not morning, oh my God. 
Right, and good afternoon. It's been a while since I've done an intro, a bit rusty. But um, yeah, we are, we're back at the extension job for one final day. We uh, Obviously, we were coming back to pick up the boards, but the Robbies have been getting the roof on, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And we just need to do a little bit more brickwork. I'll show you that in a minute. But um, yeah, so we're going to come back here and we're going to get everything finished off today. We're going to finish off these bricks, get all these boards packed away. Then we're done here then we can uh say goodbye to this job and then uh also just give you a quick update about some of the other stuff while i'm at it so i'll see you in the back of the van right so while we were we've had a bit of a uh, gather around morning today so obviously the wall job that we've been doing we need to get some flags to put on the steps and the customers change their mind about how the flagging's going to go so we just need to lower the step and even out the, the block sides now, the copings now on each side, just so it's symmetrical now. Got ourselves some flags, got some, uh, got some sand and cement from uh, Fairwoods, so we'll make sure we're ready for that because we've also got the lintel job, which we've got on Sunday. So, Sunday's the lintel, tomorrow we're gonna finish that wall, today, uh, bricks. Everything's going on. So there you go, you can see what the Robbies have been doing here. And I'll tell you what, it's pretty changed a bit since we were last here. Well, as you can see, that's gone in all the way. It's gonna look brilliant that one at top. But, so the job that me and dad are doing, so you see the pillars, we're just gonna follow up there, do a little angle pike with the bricks to just follow the pillars up. And then there's gonna be an A-frame in there, I think they said. I know, I'm not a roofer, so. But, so that's the plan. Dad is just over there getting a hand mix in because we're not going to need a lot of mortar for that, so he's just going to get a hand mix in. I won't disturb them having their uh, little conversation, so. But yeah, that's the plan. I'll uh, switch it to time lapse so the Robbies can have the radio back on and catch you in a minute.
and good morning on this Monday morning. We are back on the extension job, but we're not doing an extension. How silly. We're doing another lintel. Lintels with Steve and Alex. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're back on the extension job, but this time we're doing a lintel in the garage where we, where we used to uh, set up shop with all our tools and such. There's a knackered lintel above the doorway, so we're just going to get that fixed up while we're here. Because, um, where Robbie noticed it last time and pulled it up to the customer, so so we're sorting that out. But um, as you can see, it's a, quite a rainy day, but because we're working inside, we're safe from the rain. That's one reason why we've come here today, because we knew the weather was going to be like this. So, uh, nice little hospital job while it's raining. But we've uh, the Robbies are here also, and we're actually using one of their acros today, so we can give that back to them. So, win win. Uh, that's killing two birds with one stone, and yeah, there's a big steel uh, going across that so we need to prop up. So we'll go prop that, prop up the doorway, and then just get this little replaced. Hopefully, get this done as quick as we can. But yeah, I'll take you over there. I'll see you in a second. And there you go. It's looking very nice so far. There's the uh, work we had to come back to do, if you remember. Just had to do a little bit of patching up, I guess, just to make a given. Them Hope I get this right, A-frame. Hope I got that right. But here's the job we're doing today. That lintel's being replaced because obviously it's dropping a bit. You can see a bit of a smiley face, but so we're just gonna prop this up, get this taken out, and there's the steel. So we're gonna prop that up as well so while we take it all out. But yeah. Just another lintel job, isn't it? So I'll set you up somewhere while we get set up ourselves and we'll catch you in a minute. Right, here's a the detail then. This is our acro, that is absolutely solid. Holding up this steel beam while we work underneath it. Because this steel beam is sat on three courses of bricks, a very poorly packed six before concrete lintel, and it did actually look like it had a bit of a sag in it. So Robbie brought it to the attention of the customer, and they've said, would we come back and put in a... A big boy in. A big bruiser in. So we've got a 1500 <coughs> six before, so we're doubling the thickness of the lintel and we're doubling the seating. So it's gonna have nearly 250 seating each side. So beefing it all up basically. We've got brickwork propped up, which doesn't even need it because these are headers. So these headers are caught on the skin outside, so these are going nowhere. This is all just precautionary. Open awesome braces. Yeah. Um, So we've had our break, lintel's out. I was about to show you if it's over there, but there you go. Lintel's out, we've got it all set up ready. And it's ready for that to go in. I'm, uh, I'm doing the, the old classic way, a little mixerless mix, because we need next to nothing for this, and it, you probably couldn't even get it done in a mixer. And I really don't want to get that thing mucky. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm gonna get that done. Dad's gonna get some splits cut because we're gonna need to get some 
over the top because obviously we're working with Imperials here so some measurements don't work out well but we're going to get the lintel bedded on then we're just going to get the splits put on top just to uh, pack it up and then obviously give it a good old top pointing but uh, yeah I think that's all there is to it so I'll get you set up while I'm doing this and uh, catch you in a second as uh, oh it's a bit dusty he's just been uh, showing me how to do it uh, obviously so I was just throwing it around he uh, sprinkles it so if you do a dry mix how do you do it let us know in the comments because before you slate me for it I've only done this like twice before on a spot board so <laughs> cut me some slack but I think, that's, I think that's almost ready. Let's give it a few more turns with the new sprinkle method that Dad has. And then I'll get it wet up and then we should be ready to go. I think Dad's almost done, so catch you in a minute. done oh god that's an energy sapping job that especially when you're as scrawny as i am bloody hell that's done i don't want to do it too wet because obviously we want to just set these small beds and point it so we need your mortar nice so we need our mortar nice and tough for pointing you can't have it too wet or it just won't it just won't stick or get anywhere that you want it to so and here is Dad's little splits. As I say, they're just gonna be going on top just to pack up that bit of space. And that's it. So once Dad gets back, let's get this lintel in, get it done, and get out of here. And, and tidy up, obviously. That's, that's important too, tidy up as well. You get what I mean. But I'll set you back up on time-lapse on the scaffold and we can, uh, Get this thing knocked out of the park, shall we?
I'm tired of being your uh, your bloody yeah, transition. It's got, it's got the right underneath on the back. So there we go. That kind of well, it doesn't make up for it, but that is that was a nice relaxing job compared to the week we had last week. Over a week, wasn't it? Awful week. Four, four, five, and a, five and a half days. Four and a half days. Yeah. It felt like a bloody the three-day job took us four and a half days, and it was oh just. It's another, it was a lintel job from hell. Yeah, but this one, a lot more straightforward. We we'll prop the steel up, just to take the weight of the steel off. Put a couple of acros across there. There was no need for that whatsoever because these headers, these headers, that row of headers there, was obviously headers, so they're through into the other skin. So they were supported. Um, we took out the 4B3 lintel. We dropped it, of course rather than going up because the door finishes here so there's still a good three inch gap over the door so we, we've, we've come down of course so we've got rid of all the loose stuff and we threw it in side to side tight bed thought that doesn't look right so we threw a level on it and it was 20 mil out of level so as you can see we've got a big bed at this end but that's got slate under that um, super tight bed this end, but that's nice, bang on level now. So we had a, we had these splits cut. So we didn't need them in this end because it's so out far at a level. So big bed and then down to the splits. And that is that mortar is rammed in super tight. Plus it's um, clay commons, so they suck all the water out. So pretty much as soon the mortar was stiff anyway. So once yeah. it's in. It pretty much goes off, so all that all that weight spread. So that's why the acros are out because we don't do nothing, and that thing down there just just settles everything. It's not going anywhere. Just for those people who have a go, just taking the acros out too soon. So um, yeah, that's it. We'll do an outro just in case this is part end of a video, but I don't think it is yet. So why? I'll hand over to my catcher's assistant for the outro. Why is this the end? Because we've got to come back to show a finished job, aren't we? Oh, we're just including this in too? Yeah, I'll we'll work it in somehow. If it's only a small video. <clears throat> well, if that's the case, don't need to do an outro. Do an outro just in case. I'll do it with that behind you. Put, put the brush down. I'd rather. Come on. I can't do it when you're looking at me. I'm looking at me when I'm Yeah. We're finished, it's not five o'clock. Well, we better hurry up because oh. I, I still don't want to get home at yeah, 5 o'clock. Yeah, admin stuff to do now. Yeah. Getting our stuff ready for tomorrow and that. Getting, getting set up for the film crew. What are we getting from there? Uh, but yeah, so that'll be 
if uh, this is the end of the video that Dad wants, I don't know. Uh, I'll do this outro just in case, so position myself here. Lights, camera, action. <coughs> So thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button because we greatly appreciate that. And if you're new to the video, no video. Ah. So yeah, so that'll be the end of this. Uh, be sure, to... I can't do it now because you've told me to. And there you go, so that's the end of this. It's been a very, uh... this one's been a very nice job from, uh... well not from start to finish because start we had the uh, issue with the the foundation because we forgot that there was a, a basement but other than that it's been a smooth sailor and it's been very fun so we've enjoyed this if you enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button and if you're new to the channel be sure to hit subscribe and that bell icon because that's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate you doing that um this has been steve and alex on our lovely extension and lintel job and we'll catch you in the next job